Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a ton of Pokemon news to go over. We have a new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet maintenance update happening tomorrow. A new 7 star raid has just been announced. We also have the last day of Pokemon Bank today as well. There's so much stuff to cover. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content ring the notification bell with all of that out of the way let's get into the video i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off let's take a look at the new seven star terror raid event it is a bug type samurai was very surprised to see this because i thought they were going to continue the pattern of fire water grass but no it is fire water grass water samurai was not what i was expecting i was thinking delphox or typhlosion or hisuian typhlosion or something like that but no we have a bug terror type samurai so cerebi tweeted this out saying the next seven star terror raid battle has been fully revealed battle against bug terror type Samurott. It runs from the 31st of March through to the 2nd of April and then again from the April uh, the 7th through to the 9th of April. So this could actually be a very very tricky raid because this Pokemon is a bug terror type. It's going to get stabbed mega horn and stuff like that and the Pokemon that are strong against this like flying types, rock types, fire types, Samurott has a counter for all of those. It has a move that is good against all of those typings so you can't necessarily bring a Pokemon that is flying or fire or rock because Samurott's just going to destroy it. So this is going to be quite a tricky raid. Not only that, but it also gets access to focus energy. I'm pretty sure it gets access to sword stance. So you're going to also need like a taunt user there. This, I think, like I say, probably going to be one of the toughest we've had yet. Of course, the one we just got Decidueye was relatively easy, but I think this is going to be the complete other end of the spectrum. This also means that the next terror raid is probably going to be Typhlosion. It seems that they're doing the Hisuian starters. Well, obviously, we just had Decidueye. We've now got Samurott, so it looks like we're going to have Jotonian uh, Typhlosion next. But, of course, by the time that that 7-star raid event is here, we may also have Pokemon, co uh, Pokemon Home compatibility then, so it won't really matter that much because we're hoping that, you know, any day now it does get revealed or we at least get a, a date or something like that. But, uh, yeah, either way, that is the new 7-star Terror Raid. Let me know your thoughts on it. Are you happy about it? Are you sad about it? Were you expecting something else? Of course, some people are saying, like, maybe Infernape or Meganium or whatever. And, of course, that could happen, but it seems that they're just kind of going over... Pokemon that are going to be transferable through Pokemon Home. I'm sure we'll have seven star raid events of like Meganium and Infernape in the future because they are data mines becoming back in the DLC, so we'll probably have that around then. But I don't think they're going to give us like a DLC Pokemon now when there's Pokemon Home compatibility. Maybe once uh, once Pokemon Home compatibility is here, and then they'll move on to DLC Terror Raids because what they seem to be doing is dropping a Pokemon that isn't available but will be available later on um, in the game, which is obviously what they've been doing with the Pokemon Home Pokemon. So yeah, they very well could do that with DLC Mons in the future, but for now, it looks like it's just going to be Pokemon Home compatibility. But anyway, 7-star Terror Raid, Bug-type, Samurott, next in line. Let's move on to the maintenance update for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So this was tweeted out by Nintendo Support saying we will be performing maintenance on Nintendo Switch network service from half one to four o'clock on Tuesday, March the 28th, so that is tomorrow. During the maintenance, online play such as Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Nintendo Switch Sports, and Splatoon 3 may not be available. And then we have Oatmeal Dome talking about this here, uh, saying the maintenance will occur on March 28th from 4.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. UTC, affecting Splatoon 3, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and Switch Sports. Now, before every Everyone freaks out again. This maintenance period will likely be uninteresting. I highly doubt it is a sign that something is coming. So, so why are these games in particular? The maintenance page lists it as network services acquiring stage data, etc. Nintendo uses this phrase to refer to BCAT. So, okay, but what is BCAT? Basically, BCAT is a service which allows devs to distribute files to their games. So, in Splatoon 3, BCAT is used to distribute a file containing the Splatfest theme. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet uses it for terror raids and event information. Switch Sports uses it to get the latest item information. So Nintendo is taking down a file download service for maintenance. Not very exciting. And then we have uh, like people talking about like the save glitch and stuff for Scarlet and Violet. Uh, they, they say here, oh my god, they better be doing this Scarlet and Violet save glitch or fixing it. Unless the save glitch has something to do with terror raids, I highly doubt that that will be the case. 
Uh, it could, considering the update prior to the current one, uh, catching Walking Wake Iron Leaves would lead to the Bad Egg Glitch. So, you never know. Potentially, it could be the save data, but I, I don't know. I, I, I highly doubt it. But yeah, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's getting some maintenance tomorrow. You're probably not going to be going online, uh, going to be able to go online during the maintenance period. They, Oatmeal Dome says 4.30 a.m. to 7 a.m., but all, right here it says half one to four. So, I think that's just like time zone wise and stuff, but... Either way, it, this could be the, the Japanese um, time zone, which of course is a lot further ahead. So yeah, it seems to be this uh, case for UTC. But either way, that's the Scarlet and Violet maintenance update. Like I say, I wouldn't expect anything crazy, but you never know if anything is like kind of significant or anything like that. I, of course, we'll be covering it in tomorrow's video. But as of right now, it looks to just be a small maintenance update for online, something to do with raids. I don't know what raid it would be for. Like, we've obviously just had the Sidui. We've just had uh, Blissey. We've got um, Samrock coming up soon. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just maintenance update for a raid that they haven't announced yet. But either way, we are getting a Scarlet and Violet maintenance update tomorrow. Hopefully, it's something good. We'll have to wait and uh, see. Moving on, last day for Pokemon Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not downloaded Pokemon Bank, do it now. You will never be able to get it again if you haven't already done it. If you already have Pokemon Bank, it is becoming free tomorrow, as well as Poke Transporter as well. So this Pearly Enthusiast tweeting out saying, just want to remind everybody that the Nintendo 3DS eShop is shutting down tomorrow on March 27th. Of course, this was tweeted out yesterday, hence why they're saying tomorrow, March 27th. It's today right now. Please download all Pokemon-related things. If you want to transfer your Gen 7 and under Pokemon to Scarlet and Violet, make sure to have Pokemon Bank. If you don't have it downloaded, Loaded from today, like from tomorrow onwards, you'll never be able to. Basically, all your Pokemon 3DS Pokemon are just going to be trapped on the 3DS forever because you will not be able to transfer it. And let, if you've downloaded it at any point in the past, we'll be able to download it again. Um, I don't know why you would have deleted it, but either way, you just have to have downloaded it at some point. But if you do not, you will never be able to access it. But of course, it does become free for everybody tomorrow if you have already downloaded it. Uh, notes, you can re-download purchased games and Pokemon Bank will go free for a certain amount of time. Don't buy the subscription. So I need to transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Bank to Pokemon Home. But the subscription, like I say, there's no point in me buying it today because it's going to become free tomorrow. I think it's only like a five or three a year, but there's literally no reason it's becoming free tomorrow um as well as that there is also other eShop games as well such as uh you know pokemon silver pokemon crystal gold red blue yellow like all of those will also not be uh buyable i guess from tomorrow onwards if you already have them you of course you're fine if you've already downloaded them in the past you can re-download them but if you've not bought them before you'll never be able to download them again so if you do want them uh, the eShop kind of 3DS versions of the uh, the Gen 1 and Gen 2 games. Make sure to download them today. And then, uh, though, to download Poke Transport, you need the subscription. We have no information on if you can get it after the 3DS eShop shuts down. It will become free to use after this date, though, for anyone who has bought it. Um, so, yeah, make sure to do it. Like I say, I, I can't get this across. Also, you know, if you haven't downloaded the Sun and Moon demo, make sure to do that because that is the only legitimate way of getting Ash Greninja. And so if you don't download the Sun and Moon demo, which again, you can do right now, um, you will not ever be able to get well. And I'm sure in the future, there'll be a way to get Ash Greninja. But as of right now, the only way to get it is the Sun and Moon demo. So if you haven't even gotten that yet, make sure to do that. Play through it. Get Ash Greninja. Make sure you got Pokemon Bank. Pop him onto that. And then obviously pop him over to uh, Pokemon Home. And then um, hopefully you know we'll be able to get him in the game in the future but uh yeah make sure that I, like i say can't stress this enough very important do it right now <laughs> anyway that is the pokemon bank stuff and then finishing things off we have a thread here by soul silver just another theory about terra pagos um as always make sure to show him some love because he he is the brains behind a lot of these uh theories and these really cool ideas in the community but anyway we have soul silver art here saying in the build-up to a bigger theory i've been using quotes when talking about terra pagos's fur because i don't believe it's truly fur at all so obviously he's talking about this kind of um yeah th this sort of thing around it's like neck and like arms well hands i guess um instead i think that terra pagos is made of pure raw energy have you noticed that this fur is the same color and flows directly into the body and tails? Its indigo shell looks more like separated plates of armor placed on top of this raw energy instead of a cohesive shell. And the hexagon at the center of its back seems to actually be connected to its fur and tails. 
which to me all just look like overflowing raw energy, taking the form of tails and fur. Lastly, there's only one official description line for Terrapagos, um, resplendent in its glistening aura. Could it be made specifically of some kind of light energy? If we look closely at its body and tails, we can see the inside is glowing, especially uh, the closer we look um, to its center. So again, it could be something to do with its other form, this like fur-like kind of thing could, you know, transfer, transform into something else when Terrapagos does. Obviously, there's another part of its core body that is blue, its hands and head, but we'll have to have more uh, to, to see more to fully understand it. I was thinking more about his plates and how they probably harness the raw energy underneath them. And depending on which type the plate represents, that energy might power up that specific plate's type. And we have a really cool image here as well. Like this is, I guess, a reenactment of the uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet book kind of image of uh, the third legendary. We have it on kind of like this orb thing here. So, uh, yeah, either way, just a really cool theory there. Maybe a little bit more information about the future form if we do get one for this new legendary Pokemon. Anyway, though, that's going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do consider hitting the like button down below. It's trying to 500 likes. Leave a comment with everything we covered in today's video. What are your thoughts on the next 7 uh, Star Terror Raid event? Are you happy that it's Samura or would you wish it was something else? What are your thoughts on the maintenance update tomorrow for Scarlet and Violet? Do you think anything crazy is going to drop or do you think it is literally just uninteresting uh, maintenance? And then, of course, make sure to download Pokemon Bank. Cannot stress it enough. I don't want to see you guys, like, um, I don't know, just have your Pokemon trapped on the 3DS, you know, when, when you can easily just download it right now. It doesn't take long. Make sure to do it. It's everything from me, though. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Subscribe if you're brand new. And until next time, peace.